we are off. This is the Oracle of Ages weekly randomizer race. We are playing on normal mode with randomized dungeons and tree warp is on. Joining me in the race, we have shield on. Good luck, have fun. And thanks, Snow, for the five months and the good luck. Starting off with Dimitri's flute. And the seed shooter with ember seeds. Okay. That's an interesting start. We have a lot available to us right now. <laughs> Fairy powder in the shop. Yo, Tygon Mike with the host. Thanks a lot. I think I just make my way to Symmetry. No, no, no. Let's let's go down this way first. Let's go this way first. Symmetry can come later. We want to get some easy checks. Bombs? Okay. <laughs> what is going on with the seed? We're gonna go get our first dungeon check. Which is present E6. Yeah, we can't do anything here. So I think... Yeah, now let's make our way up to Symmetry. There's like a couple other things we can do. But I think this is probably the best. Oh, I have to... I actually have to use Dimitri here. I'll call him back later. He's a little bit too slow for me right now. In terms of walking speed. It's been a while since I've had to go vanilla route up to Symmetry City. But we are guaranteed an item coming this way. And we are going to just get to see what the tree in uh, Symmetry City is going to be. We're not going to be able to do anything else there. At least for the time being. Depends on if we get two Nevecos or not. library key. So this path didn't really pay off. I'm going to build the bridge for sure. Looks like we're probably going to have to do graveyard. We'll see what the tree is, and then we'll tree warp and go graveyard. Mm -hmm. 
Otherwise, I can go to the past. More embers. Okay, so that didn't matter. Question. I don't think this works. I don't think this works, but we'll see. <laughs> okay! <laughs> yeah, they, you can't eat them. But that's really funny. <laughs> I, I knew, like, only one animal can exist on screen at a time. But I wasn't sure if Dimitri could eat the ghost there or not. Yo, Fox, thanks for the host. Okay, there we go. Switch hook. That'll let us fight them. But I don't really need to fight them right now. Yeah, there's no reason for me to fight them right now. Because I have no way to get either of the items inside. Switch hook does get me an item in D6. That is probably where I need to go. But I do want to check Fairy Woods first. One. Second try. I'll take it. Tune of Echoes. Okay. You know what? Let's not go down to D6 yet. Let's keep let's keep pushing some of these other things that we can do. We haven't done Black Tower yet. Like we we've had access to so many other things that we just haven't done Black Tower. Black Tower could possibly have something. Otherwise, I can see, like, the Symmetry Brothers having something. Or that first chest in D6 Present that requires a switch hook. I think that one is probably the most likely. Yo, thanks for the good luck, Fox. Okay. I think we definitely go Symmetry again. With Flippers, that gets me another item. And now that I have Flippers, I don't have to call Dimitri everywhere I want to go. Speaking of, there he is.
Now, what am I going to find here? I feel like we're very close to being able to get two items out of present D6. If we get Feather, yeah, if we get Feather, we can get two items out of present D6. Don't expect to be able to get the the rope check right now. We are able to get one item out of the grave now that we have the flippers. There's the mermaid suit. Okay. So that is going to open things up a little bit for us. I might as well go and check D6 now. Like, I might as well check it. Get that one item I can get in there. I guess in theory I can get the other item too. It's out of logic because I don't have a feather, but we can get it. could potentially save me a little bit of backtracking later. Just a small town key. So featherless. Featherless present D6. It's not terrible. It's just not a play you're supposed to be able to do. Like, getting in here, you are not supposed to be able to do this. But that little corner walk gets you in here. Logically, you need a feather, but obviously we don't need one. And we gotta send seedling for our efforts, okay. Could be useful later, when we actually get a way to harvest seeds. Yeah, it's one of those seeds. Early present D6. In fact, we got into present D6 in like five minutes. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, it's very hard to get an Aegisless Seed. There's just too many things to have to go right.
probably want to stock up on uh, set, um, amber seeds while I'm here. Yeah, I've gotten two in like over two years of playing this game. So that's just like an indication of how rare they are. Okay. Oh man. I see what we have to do, and I don't like it. So lava juice is okay, but we're not gonna be able to get that yet. I think key sanity just makes it even worse, to be honest. Because the potential for extra keys blocking your path. Like, you, you have to go to Zora Seas for, like, one boss key or something. Or one small key. So I'm going to check the Hidden Toke first, but I have a feeling we're going to have to go in into Ambi's Palace. A bracelet here would be really nice. That would get me access to two more checks over here. Plus then we can go into Daegu Forest. It's a ring. We don't have a way of harvesting seeds yet, so it could be Fister Experts. Power ring? Okay. So we're going into Ambies. Last scene you played, you tried everything, every check to avoid Vanilla Talus, and still had to do it. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> happens more often than I'd like to admit. So, Ambi's Palace. What are we going to find in here? Okay. Okay. That is a nice seed tree. I almost feel like it has to be bracelet at this point. But it no, it could definitely be feather. Yeah, it could be feather. Tune of currents really doesn't do anything for me yet. Bracelet Feather, Graveyard Key. Yeah, Bracelet Feather, Graveyard Key, Zora Scale. Those are all possibilities. That's also a possibility. <laughs> And that actually helped me out.
because now I can check this. Yeah, I wasn't even considering that as an option. But yeah, that's certainly a thing that opens up two checks. And there's the feather. Okay, so now we're starting to juice a little bit. We're, get, we're getting a little bit of spice. Yeah. This is fun. Wait! It bounces off if you're far away, but if you're inside... If you're inside it, it'll, uh... It'll automatically do it. That is some interesting tech. Yeah, I found out about that not that long ago, actually. And when I when I saw that, I was like, "Wait, what?" Oh yeah, I'm probably dropping some frames. Uh, we don't have Pegasus seeds yet, just in case. Looks like I'm okay for now, but I did drop a few frames. Yeah, I'm grabbing the book just in case we don't get Satchel. By the time we have to go to library. Oh, you know what? Let's go to... Let's go to Deku Forest. Usually we'd go to Deku Forest super early, but we just did not have access until now. And this is probably like a, a really good time to go there. We've got a pretty... Decent arsenal of weapons. Check the dungeon. D5, okay. I might pop it back in there in a few minutes. After I get the couple things over here. Let's just see what the seeds are. They are scent. So 
so I don't really need to care too much. It is possible that that is our third seed type for Tingle. Speaking of Tingle, that is Tingle Access. Pop in here real quick, just to see what we got out of like the first couple checks. Like, I'll be able to do, like, the front part of this dungeon. means we can go to the mini boss if we want. Can't actually get the check. I don't want to waste any more Ember Seeds, I'm going to walk all the way back instead of save and quit. Probably not a great idea, but don't want to waste too many seeds. Keys. This probably could be boss key. No, it's another small key. So because of that, I should go to mini ball. Uh, no, let's not do it. Let's not do it now. We can't. We can't really do it now. Once we come back, we'll do mini boss for sure. Hey, there's a sword. We have reliable combat. Also, that means seeds. Sword means we can get seeds now. Hold up. 
I'll just grab those just in case. Because I don't think we're going to be getting Ember Seeds for a while. And I definitely want to have some Ember Seeds for a little bit later. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I thought I had less than nine when I started. So yeah, we're going to the past. We're going to head to Rolling Ridge. But before I go to Rolling Ridge, I do want to grab at least the Gale Seeds from Ambi's Palace. What I'm thinking now is definitely Tangle 2. So I want to have three types of seeds. Obviously, we'll get the one here. I'm hoping I don't have to go to Deku Forest for the third type. If we have to, we have to, but right now I'm hoping that I can get the third type elsewhere. Uh, 44... Don't know if that's enough for all the minigames I want to do. Well, I don't think I can even do that many minigames right now, to be honest. Because I don't have two new currents. Yeah, so I can't even do a lot of things. Like, coming over here is just gonna get me, like, a couple things. In fact, I will do this. Slightly out of logic. But, uh... It's fine. Alright, so this counts as dancing one, because we do not have the letter of introduction, even though we're playing it in the past. Alright, we'll be able to get a few things here. More likely than not, we're gonna have to go get those seeds, I think. have like a few more checks we can get here.
We will be able to see the tree. That is one good thing about coming here. But other than that... Unless, like, Lava Juice pays off here... We're gonna have to leave. And it certainly did. Well, well, well. <laughs> that was the biggest payoff, I think. Going back to Shevel's Grave for the Lava Juice so that we can turn it in at the perfect opportunity to get the Tune of Currents. And now we're going to be able to do the entirety of Rolling Ridge, pretty much. And what's even better is we're going to actually be able to get the tree. Not just see the tree, we're going to get the tree. Unless... Oh, it's Mysteries. Okay, so we are going to need that. So that is our third seed type. So yeah, I'm going to have to do that. There's the letter of introduction as well. So we'll be able to finish off our dancing and pretty much clean out all the East Rolling Ridge. I think at this point the only thing we can't do are the trades and Big Bang Game. fairly early game, so extra health is okay. Like, I'll take it. Having a full row of health is better than not having a full row of health. Even if that does put me out a handful of rupees. Despite all of this, we still really don't have much dungeon access. Like, D6 present still has nothing for us. Uh, and we can't do anything else in 5 until we get the Can Samaria. Okay, we're gonna keep trucking along here. This rolling ridge is going to <laughs> basically clear itself out. Mm -hmm. 
I probably should have done the trade first. Uh, whatever. Alright, so that basically clears out all of Rolling Ridge. And we get a crown key! Hold up! We are gonna keep this rolling. And the mermaid key? Hello? Hello? I guess we gotta check out these dungeons now. <laughs> Starting with the one that's right here. It's D3. That's great, because we could do D3. And that means I don't have to go back to Deku Forest. 100%. Because I can get senses here. Okay! <laughs> so you want to finish Rolling Ridge. Next thing you're going to see is going to be the rock brisket, right? So you're telling me that Rolling Ridge is going to be completed 100% right now. Well, obviously, the next check, it has to be a key, but... We can... get items out of here, for sure. Uh, the only thing we can't do right now is vanilla boss key chest, because that requires the shovel and beating the mini boss. But other than that, we can full clear this dungeon. We may not be able to beat it, depending on the key layout. But we can get pretty close. I didn't get the double. Hey, what's great about this is that it kind of works itself out. Because we're going to head over to West Rolling Ridge immediately after this. Oh, there's Bosky, so we can clear the dungeon 100%. Um, the only thing is that one Jack we can't get. Which could lead into multiple checks. It depends on key layout, of course. If there's a key on... If there's a key... On right side. And... There's like nothing... 
before that. Like, we don't get keys until we get to the basement. We wouldn't be able to get the Mimic Chest, potentially. But it all depends on the key layout, in terms of uh, where the small keys are, whether or not we're going to be able to get Mimic Chest. Currently looking like keys in the basement. Yeah, we're going to the basement. That is certainly a find. Yeah, I, I had a feeling there had to be a key here. There's a key here. Which that kind of helps me. Because now I'm going to be able to go do bush chest. And maybe even push all the way to the back. Mimic chest depending on where that final key is. Uh, what are we missing? Key item item. So there is definitely something behind both keys. I'm just gonna have to go for it right now and see what we get. We might be able to get both keys, like to get the key and get to the back and get one item there. So that means we can get all the way there and get one item. And that also means the only thing we need to get the final key out of here, or get the final item out of here, is going to be the shovel. Like, we're going to be able to get one item by just getting the shovel.
and we're not going to have to come back all the way to do M Mimic Chest. That's the one thing I was kind of afraid of. Was that Mimic Chest was going to require the shovel. But no, we're good. Just a ring. Okay. Don't care too much. Not sure what's going on, but uh, chat seems to be having some issues. second. I just realized what I have to do, because I do not have the satchel. So if I'm going to go into this dungeon, I have to go up this way. get in here. That's good. Well, not good, but it's good knowledge. We know that Dungeon 8 is there. As soon as we get the Cane of Samaria, we will have access to the dungeon. So that is something to keep an eye on. Pegasus Seeds, what do you know? Pegasus Seeds currently don't help me that much because I don't have a satchel, but they're still good to have. Oh, I, I didn't mean to jump all the way down. I guess it doesn't really matter which way I go. Probably should have just gone from the top. Yeah. Because I'm gonna have to come out and go back in. Okay! More dungeon access.
So I'll probably check out that dungeon now. I have no reason to really put it off. Checking out the entrance there. Like, we really are just able to clean out 99% of Rolling Ridge in just one trip. Of course, you know, we weren't able to go into that dungeon because Dungeon E. And we weren't able to fully clear Dungeon 3. But other than that, we basically cleaned out all of the overworld checks. Aside from Moblin King and what was the other one that I was that I wasn't able to do? Ooh, 200 rupees. Dungeon two. Okay, I'll take Dungeon two. Oh, the, the other trade. That was it. I was trying to think, like, what else couldn't I do in the overworld? But yeah, it was the trade. This much health, not exactly something I really need to p equip, but it's, you know, a nice find. I'm not going to complain about it. I might start thinking about equipping that power ring that I got. I don't remember what level it was. If it's, I think it was three actually. In which case, I really don't want to equip it. Yeah, let's let's take a look at what we got ring wise. Yeah, it is power ring level three. So I'll just equip the heart ring. I'm not equipping power ring level three. That is a death wish. Boss key up there.
The scene is starting to shape up to be one of those. As soon as I find the cane, everything's going to open up type of seeds. Anything in the rope area? So far, no. We have one more check to get. And then we head to the back. And then we're done. doesn't matter at all, because that's essentially a key for a key, which means we don't need it. And we don't need the map, so yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I, I think we're back. I'm not sure what happened. Twitch might be acting up again. It almost feels like it was the same exact time as yesterday. Yeah, Twitch has been acting weird lately. I think we have all keys. So this has to be an item of some sort. Compass? Do we have compass? We do not have compass. It could be compass. Compass or item? Probably should have checked. Eh, it doesn't matter. Because we're going to do everything anyway. Yeah, there's compass. Okay. So item on bossy chest and boss. A satchel? What a good find. So satchel is a good one. Uh, how are we on bombs? We're good on bombs, okay? We do not need to sock up. A cane is a big one that we need to get. I think we'll probably see graveyard key fairly soon, I think. Now that I have satchel, Yeah, now that I have Satchel, I think going Zora Seas might be the play. Because that'll get me back there easily. 
I mean, we, we can get fairy powder. Fairy powder's in the shop for 150. In fact, we have exactly enough rubies to get the fairy powder and the potion. We can't get potion yet, but... I think this is probably the play. Get the, get the fairy powder. Do tingle. Because we, we haven't done tingle yet. <laughs> I've been talking about going to tingle for like... I don't know how long. But yeah, we'll do tingle. And then after tingle... We'll head to Zora Seas. Clean the seas. And do some stuff over there. Unless we get something from Tingle. If we get something from Tingle that sends us in a different direction, then maybe we make the case of going there. Because we've had Tingle access for a while. Just rupees, okay. So yeah, Zorsies. So with all of the seed types, I don't need to worry about checking the trees that much. I mean, getting the tree is good for the war point, but what the tree is doesn't really matter. didn't need to play the game for the, the book. I probably should have just skipped the book, to be honest. I was just a little concerned we weren't going to get a satchel. Yeah, I should probably just skip book. Unless, like, we know we're getting super early library access. Like, I already had Bomb's Feather and a whole bunch of other things. So, Booklets was kinda on the table. game is handing out rubies like it's nothing right now. Which is leading me to believe that Graveyard Key is showing up very soon. Or we get the cane. That is also an item that is very useful. And we get the Power Glove. Which is also an item that unlocks things right where we are. And the two combined... If you put two and two together, that's telling me where to go. That's right, we're going to Dungeon 8. Immediately after checking the library. Well, I'm going to clean the seas, check the library, and do a few things. 
but yeah. We're going to Dungeon 8 after this. There's no reason to put it off. We have everything we need. And it was just a gash of seed. Of course it was just a gash of seed. So I could have skipped book. 100%. So yeah, we can finish 5. We can do 8. And then after that, we'll figure it out. A ring? Could be a good ring. We don't have any, like, decent rings yet. We're not gonna orphan the chest. Don't worry. plan on getting orphan chest and then leaving. Yeah, library having nothing. Of course. Yeah, all these rupees are definitely leading me towards Graveyard Key showing up within, like, the next sphere. Like, I'm fully expecting either Dungeon 5 or Dungeon 8 to have Graveyard Key. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, we're really close to go mode. Like, like, I'm just looking at it and we need three more keys and that's it. Like, we can complete every dungeon that, that we find. All we have to do is find the dungeons. With Graveyard Key locking two of them. Honestly, Graveyard Key as Go Mode is probably the best case scenario. Because that's two Go Mode dungeons, guaranteed. Though, of course, we do want to find uh, Pass D6 as soon as possible. Like, regardless of go mode or not, we want to find past D6 so we can figure out if we have to go back to present or not. Like, it's very plausible that we'll have to go back to, to present. Why did I throw another bomb there?
it's a dungeon eight. We're gonna be able to just do it all in one go. I don't know if I want to skip anything. Like, usually I only do Dark Knight Skip if I have to dip this dungeon. Otherwise, I generally just charge straight ahead. The thing with this dungeon is you don't want to really orphan any checks in the middle, because they're very hard to get back to. Already map and compass. I feel like D8 Key Sanity uh, takes advantage of Dark Knight Clip a lot more. Because you can get a lot done with barely any keys in Key Sanity. Dark Knight Clip is very powerful. Yeah, once you like know how to do it, it's really not too bad. Of course, you still have to do it. Like, you could save scum this and then run back to Dark Knight Clip to save another key. But, you know, I don't, I don't really care too much. We're just gonna run straight through. Like, the one downside to doing Dark Knight Clip is you might do the final check, like the final key lock check, despite, you know, the keys working out so that you can't actually do it. Yeah, it's a bit of a gamble, I, I guess. I don't think it's like such a big gamble if you're coming in here and you you know you're not full clearing. Like you're, you're dipping in this dungeon. I hate you. I don't know if it's gonna do another ball, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was going to do another blue ball or not. So it ate a good one. The wall ate a good ball. On that one. Unfortunate. But yeah, what I, what I normally do is I will 
I'll go ahead and do Dark Nut Clip on my second visit, if I dip in here. Noble Sword, I'll take it. I will definitely take that. Boss Key, okay. Because what I'll usually try and do is I'll try and save scum the floor puzzle. If I don't have the uh, power glove. If I have the power glove, then there's really not a big point in doing Dark Knight Clip. Because I feel like you might waste more time getting back to there versus just doing it normal. Especially in situations like yesterday, where I'm in Dungeon 8 with four hearts and <laughs> not having a great time. Like, if you're in here with, like, no hearts, just doing the mini-boss is probably the best scenario. Having that mini boss warp is very useful, especially if you die to the candles. Alright, that is all slates. So, everything else here is an item. Oh yeah, I getting 4 heart D8 as your first dungeon in your first seed is kind of rough. Yeah, that's true. Like, outside of the mini-boss, there really isn't too much that's gonna bother you in D8. The only thing is the candles. Like, if you have four hearts, you get four shot by the candles. And if you do Dark Nut Clip, and you skip the mini-boss, and you die to the candles, you end up in a really bad situation. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have Noble Sword now, so I can just go ahead and Noble Sword. gonna grab this because this is our last well there is an item here uh, it's not the last item there is gonna be an item on boss as well Expert's ring. Okay. That's a spot for the expert's ring, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, after this dungeon, I am going to finish up five. And... I think we'll just see from there. Don't think there's really anything else for me to do. Like, I could do ambies, of course. But if I have dungeons available to me, I'm not going to do ambies. I'll do ambies after dungeons. If I have nothing left. That's probably a good play. Uh, ambies after I finish five. Outside of dungeons, I think Ambies is the highest density left. Grab that. At least five's at a good spot. have, what, three keys and five? With two checks plus boss potential. So, if we get boss key, two keys, we can full clear. If we get one item, we're not going to be able to full clear here. So that is what we need, is we need one item from this dungeon. That's a key. Could be boss key. Nope, it's a small key. That means we are still on track for full clear. Oh, frames are dropping again. Yeah. Seems pretty stable right now. Another key. This could be bossy though. Like I said, <laughs> every time it could be bossy. But boss could still have a key as well. It is bossy.
So as long as boss does not have a small key, we're done here. If boss has a small key, then we have to continue. I didn't hear the sound. I think we're good. I think we're good here. Saved by a key. But it could also be one of those situations where the compass tone just doesn't want to work. So we gotta... We'll check afterward. Yeah, anything behind the key doors are out of logic until you have five keys. Which is why I ignore them. Uh, it is a key. Alright, we got a full clear. Which is why I ignore the key doors until the end, because if they're, f if the, you know, if you have to full clear, then sure, I'll do it, but if you don't have to, like, if you get key locked in here, you're not going to have to go through the key door. So that just saves you a bunch of time. Oh yeah, if you're playing sa uh, Key Sanity, that's a different story. Because you can find the keys outside of the dungeons. Which means, you know, you're not as likely to get key locked out of a dungeon. You know, stuff like that could happen. Where you just get the item that you're looking for. And then you go on a crazy adventure just to find out that the other items you're looking for are also in here. So we're not leaving. Right? Like, it's a 50-50. We'll do it. We'll do it. It's an item. One item in here. Like, leaving a dungeon... <laughs> leaving a dungeon with an item in it, I just think of the millions of times where I leave Dungeon 3 and there's one item in the back. Yeah, that, that Dark Knight was having a great time. There's our shovel. Okay. That could send us back to three. Unfortunately.
But yeah, we are now have access to two dungeons. So we're just going to be cooking. We've got two dungeons to check out. Two more items to find. Game really wants me to go to Jabu, I think. Vanilla D1. Okay. Vanilla D1. Yeah, D4 Inky Sanity. For whatever reason loves to have its own keys. Especially as, like, the last dungeon that you do. Yeah, you, you pretty much just, like, have to go into D4 and hope you can do stuff. More often than not, you are going to be able to do stuff. I think it gloves, right? Pretty sure I have a shield too. nice. That is really nice. Like, I was just contemplating, like, oh, I didn't have a key. There it is. <laughs> but I was just thinking about, like, oh, I need to refill my Pegasus Seeds. And we just get the refill, the big refill. Right there. So no need to worry anymore. Uh, compass key item. Yeah, it's weird how, like, both, like, all the keys ended up in that crossroads area. Alright, there's compass. Okay, so item on boss. Cool, cool. Like, I was just on autopilot, and then I'm like, wait a second, I don't have a key. <laughs> Item is garbage. Yeah, you, you have to have two keys in order to not salt lock yourself. Oh yeah, why am I doing that? I should just do that. I have access to Zora Village.
So I wonder, are we going to go to see him no return in go mode? Or are we going to do the Toonie Nut in go mode? Because one of those two items is our go mode item. And we're going to have one of four, six, or seven as our go mode dungeon. Out of those, I would prefer seven. Hey, there's our Toonie Nut. So, uh, Eyeball is our go mode. I'm tempted to just follow the tuning out right now. But let's see what dungeon we got. It's four. Okay. I'm fine with just running through four. We have to do most of four anyway. At least until... Until we figure out how to do the four jump in RTA. So either 6 or 7 is going to be our go mode dungeon. Like I said, I prefer 7. Just because it's one of those dungeons you can really clear very quickly. Depending on the key layout. Six. Six is a tricky one because you do have to find a bunch of keys in order to beat it. Okay, so these next two are guaranteed to be keys. Because that's how Dungeon 4 works.
Like, that's the one thing about Dungeon 4, is it's so linear. That you end up getting key after key after key. And then you really don't even get to the meat of the dungeon until you get to the mini boss. Thank you, Mr. P Hat. Thanks again, Mr. P Hat. Yeah, keys first, and then keys second. The keys aren't too bad. Alright, I'll take the boss key. Potential for a self-lock key. Also, potential for map. Map or key in the back would be ideal. I'm gonna have to do the floor puzzle, regardless of what's here. Simply because there's still the possibility of having to go to the back. And we need to make sure. We do not want to hear a key tone. <laughs> How did I know that was going to happen? it always happens. Whenever you're feeling good about how Dungeon 4 is going, you're just gonna have to go to the boss key and get the boss key chest.
because that's how Dungeon 4 gets you. If this is the Toke Eyeball, I will be ecstatic. But I have a feeling it's just going to be junk. It's one of the things about this is it's such a long check for potential junk. So we've got two go mode dungeons. Six and seven are both going to be go mode. Now the question is, which order do I do them in? I think, yeah, I think we go up to Symmetry first. I think going up to Symmetry first is probably the play. Just because of the fact that I had the Tree Warp there in order to get, you know, to anywhere kind of quickly. But yeah, two GOMO dungeons. <sighs> Always fun. We got to completely skip Talus Peak's chest, even. Which one's going to be which? Is this going to be... 6 or 7? I think I'd prefer this being 6. So that's, it's going to end up being 7. That's, that how, that's how it works. If I prefer it one way, it's going to be the other. I know what's going to happen. We're going to find six in Sea of No Return. And the boss key is going to be in present D6. Yep. It's looking that way. <laughs> uh, who's excited for a double... See if no return. Because I certainly am not. the game knows 
It knows we don't want it there. But what I've really noticed is that um, D6 ends up as, like, the final dungeon, or one of the final dungeons, a lot. Not just, like, in Sea of No Return, just wherever it ends up being. It's one of the last things you end up doing. Looks like we're gonna all keys this dungeon. The so map was behind a key door there. Might lead me to think that not all keys are going to be accessible. I mean, it's still definitely possible. So where, oh where, is the boss key? Eh, I don't care. If boss key's here, we're good. It's not here. It's a swimmer's ring. Not a terrible ring. That's not even a key either. Sorry, swimmer's ring. I was waiting for the third one. I was fully expecting three keys on the bottom floor. But the good thing is, of the keys on the bottom floor, it's the two that don't require you to go backwards. We can save and quit. We can save and quit to get those bottom floor ones if we need them. We had two on the bottom floor. Not great. This has to be a compass sound. Boss key. Boss key shows up here a lot. It's not. Okay. So boss key's on the bottom floor. Which unfortunately does mean we will have to 
reset the floor, like the, the water level up to the top in order to get to the boss after we get boss cave. Which isn't terribly long, but still annoying. Shoutouts to all Essences strats, doing the saving quit. Really nice. And that was the boss key. Okay. Oh, I... yeah. It's better to do this this way. Always better to leave and reset the water level, because then we don't have to do the middle water level. have to bring it all the way to the top. Let's see, our Pegasus tree was vanilla, right? Yeah, it was vanilla tree. So I'll probably stop there after this dungeon, pick up some Pegasus uh, seeds, and then go to see no return. I don't think I can get anything here that would help me, yeah. Like, the only thing I'd maybe like to see... ...is, like, a red ring. Red ring would be nice. But uh, we do have power ring level three that we can utilize on phase three if we really want to. So we know, boss key of dungeon 6 is going to show up in the present, right? It's almost guaranteed at this point. Just based on like how this state is gone, I'd say 
it's going to show up in the present. Which means we're going to have to do this twice. I could have dipped into present to get that one check. Like, there is one check we can get, which is the rope check, where you drop the scent seed. I could have dipped in there real quick and seen if that was the boss key before heading up here, but we just gotta go for it, you know? Like, there's no sense dipping in there for one check when I have to come here no matter what. And there's a lot more checks in here that I can grab. And boss key could very well be in here. Compass is always a fine check to get, especially when you're in go mode. Helps you not waste time on anything that's not a key. Unfortunately, you still have to get to the room where the chests are to find out if it's a key or not, but... We kind of want to open up these walls anyway, just in case. That is not a key. We're out of there. Oh, it locked me in. I didn't hear the key sound, so I was like, oh, you will let me leave. But then I got locked in. It moved! It never moves. It never moves over to the left. Power Ring Level 1. A little less risky than Power Ring Level 3. However, I do not remember if Level 1 lets me get the Zero Cycle or not. Yeah, that had to be a key. Oh, did it have to be? Probably didn't have to be a key, but it was pretty much going to be a key. Yeah, I don't remember if level 1 lets me get the zero cycle or not. I'll probably still use level 3. Yeah, I'll probably use level 3 just because I know it's good. I know it'll work. I mean, worst case scenario, we do have a heart ring, so we can get some health back just by running around. Not a key. 
That means boss key is in, pa in the present. As I predicted. I do need to get this key here, though. Like, it, it was so predictable. And yet... There's really not much I could have done. I could have checked that one check. If it's on that one chest... If it's on that one chest, then... Yeah, that would have been great. Um... But yeah. We're going present E6. And we're gonna find out. Is the boss key on the rope chest? Like that is going to be the first thing that I do. but it's another small key. Two small keys. You know what that means? It means it's going to be in the back, most likely. It's going to be behind one of the key doors. Could even be behind fire. This compass. Yeah, we'll have to check fire while we're here. I did save. I always forget. <laughs> like, I always forget if I saved or not. But I, like, pretty sure I did. Oh, that didn't do enough. There we go. Okay. It's not a key. Okay.
That is also not a key. It could be vanilla. It's like 50-50% vanilla here. Either way, this is a key. Yep, it's vanilla. <laughs> well... That's fun. That is certainly fun. Ending on RNG chest. At least our way back is right here. I never marked that I finished D4. Yeah, what a bad D6. Present D6 was the, our first dungeon that we had access to. And yet, it's also the last dungeon. And the worst case scenario boss cave. Like, we had to go and do double save no return, no matter what. Because the boss key was behind the wall. That you have to move in the past in order to get access to the present. You know, I wonder if it would be possible to do a setting where the D6 walls are already opened in the present, so you don't have to find past D6 in order to get access to it. Like, that would be interesting. Like, if there, if there was a way to do that... So that, like, you find D6, present D6 super early, you can just gamble that you have to go ahead and do everything in there. And find boss key in there and whatnot. That way, when you do find past D6, you can just do it and not have to worry. One hit, dude. <laughs> and the final item is the rope. What a great final item.
Oh! We never saved the Meiku tree. <laughs> okay. I guess we're gonna get Cheshire tree. Cheshire tree. I totally didn't even think about that. Like, I had planned on going and doing Amy's Palace if I didn't get access to more dungeons, but we kept getting access to more dungeons. So we never actually did it. And then we got the shovel kind of late, so we couldn't even do it like normal. Cheshire Tree, that's that's something that you don't normally get too often. Because usually, one way or another, you end up saving the Meiku Tree. Whether it's through doing Ambi's Palace or going through Meiku Path. One way or another, you usually end up saving it. So going an entire seed without doing either of those doesn't really happen too often. But yeah, this seed was really all over the place, I think. It started off with having to use Dimitri to go up to Vanilla Symmetry City. Um, what else happened in the seed? We ended up, like, basically full clearing Rolling Ridge in one go. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. But the only reason we were able to full clear Rolling Ridge in one go was because we went to the graveyard early, saw that there was the lava juice there, but we couldn't get it. And so once we were able to get the lava juice, we ended up going back and getting it. The lava juice ended up giving us Tune of Currents at the most opportune time. Which allowed me to basically finish off all of Rolling Bridge. And then we had like, the most clutch uh, D4. Like, the, the seed was really sending me over to uh, Jabu. As King Zora had our tuning nut, and then the back of D4 had our Toke Eyeball, which was our final item for Go Mode. And then, of course, the ending with D6 boss key being in vanilla spot in present D6. Where's she at? I was like, where are you at? Alright, we're gonna equip our level 3 power ring. We've got plenty of health, so I'm not worried about taking damage. Especially, you know, we do this, we get the, uh... 
the quick kill, we don't have to worry about damage at all. enough? That wasn't enough damage. But at least we got B, so... There we go. Finishing in first place with an official race time .gg time of 2 hours, 28 minutes, and 30 seconds. GG, that was a pretty good race. Yeah, that was probably the worst case scenario, D6. At least present D6 was right there on Crescent Island, so when we got our boss key, we could just go straight to the past and go right into See of No Return again. But having to double dip See of No Return not fun. But yeah, otherwise this seed wasn't terrible. Like, a lot of things just kind of led to each other. I'll say hello to Cheshire Tree again. Like, this scene, <laughs> this scene is so broken <laughs> when you don't save the tree. Like, you see half of the tree, and then the rest is not even there. Like, I never marked that I did the tuning nut. I just stopped, like, marking my tracker halfway through. <laughs> But yeah, like, you could tell that this seed was pushing you to do, like, Jabu entrance pretty hard. Like, it kept giving me rupees. It kept giving me more rupees. More rupees. More rupees. It's like, I know I need 450 rupees. Because Fairy Powder and Potion. You need both of those in order to get into Jabu. So I'm like, okay, the more rupees I get, the more it's pushing me over there. And going that way ended up paying off because Tuninut and Toke Eyeball both being over there. 